<laughs> is about the money. Yes, First it is. on <laughs> CBS this morning, mountains of money. Forbes magazine reveals its annual list of billionaires. The magazine highlights the more than 2,200 billionaires around the world. They have a combined net worth of 9.1 trillion dollars. At number five is Facebook's Mark Zuckerberg with an estimated 71 billion dollars. Number four is luxury goods chief Bernard Arnault and his family. They're worth 72 billion. And investor Warren Buffett is third. He's worth 84 billion. Microsoft co-founder Bill Gates drops one spot from last year to number two with 90 billion dollars. And at number one for the first time is Amazon founder and CEO Jeff Bezos. He is the first centi-billionaire on the list with $112 billion. Wow. Forbes assistant managing editor Louisa Kroll is here with more. A centi-billionaire, that's the first we're, we're hearing and seeing first of one. First locked in. Yes. What is the significance of Jeff Bezos and what he's been able to accomplish with Amazon? I mean, first of all, it's just been such huge gains. You know, we always talked about, will we ever see anybody that's a centi-billionaire? Of course, people joke and say, are we ever going to see a trillionaire? I, I'm hoping not in my lifetime. <laughs> but it's just the phenomenal gains and the way that he's shaken up everything that he's gone after. Amazon started off as an online bookseller. It's now talking about getting into credit cards. Uh, it bought a uh, smartphone doorbell company last week. Just when you think they can't go bigger, yes. they go bigger. They go bigger and they keep getting bigger. The gain, he was up over $39 billion in 12 months. Last year was another phenomenal year. It was the biggest one gain year since we've been tracking world billionaires. They're going to start buying planets next. Let me ask you, 67% of the billionaires on the list are self-made. That's fascinating to me. Do yeah. they share some talent? Is there some reason? Is that higher than in the past? You know, I always talk about kind of like this X factor. You obviously have to be incredibly driven, a little bit crazy, a little bit passionate. Sometimes you really have to come from hard knock life, you know, have a hard, hard knock, knock story. Yeah. Because, you know, the, some of these people were adopted. Some had parents died. They were working on factory floors. I mean, Oprah. Oprah is a terrific example. You know, she yeah, really had a it. lot. She was definitely self-made. She was so very self-made. In less than a minute, tell us about the, the highest women on the list and why you put Robert Smith on the cover. Okay, that's a lot to cover in one minute. But in there, are, <laughs> yeah. there are a record number of women. There are 72 self-made, which is just really exciting because that's always been a huge lag. The richest uh, self-made woman is a woman named Jo Quanfei, and she's one of these people we were talking about. Her mom reportedly died when she was younger. She ended up working in a factory at age 16. Now she makes the glass covers and, for a lot of our And Robert phones. Smith on the cover. And then because... Robert Smith... He has had such phenomenal success in private equity. He's one of the most successful uh, people on Wall Street. Um, but, you know, it's great to, to celebrate the, the successes of African Americans. And Agreed. Fantastic.